hello 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 welcome to my new tutorial that is um, database hero 1227 so when you are uh, trying to import a database you may face an error uh, that could be happened when um, you have an website in a, in a separate host and you have migrate your website from one host to another host then it may be happened so let's see what is happened and uh, how to fix that so at first i have already um, logged into my php my admin panel and here is my database i have just created a database and uh, under this database i will upload my existing i will just import my existing database here so i just have created a mysql database here i'm going to import that i'm clicking on import button now providing the location of the file uh, here 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 this is my database so i'm clicking that and clicking go button now my data database is importing so as you will see that when it's taking time a few minutes uh, to import the database so we are just uh, waiting here with patience As you see that uh, our database is imported but there is an error showing that is error 1227 access denied you need at least one of the super privilege for this operation what this is mean uh, actually it is happened when you your website was in a server and you have moved your website to a new server then you are going to migrate your website to a new server uh, from your existing backup so it differ from server to server therefore um, there is a solution also don't worry about that let's see the solution here so I'm minimizing it I'm going to my database <coughs> this is my database so I'm opening it with uh, opening it with notepad plus plus and here if you search for control f search for definer and press find next as you say that definer is selected so i'm closing this scrolling down a little bit and now this is definer I am copying from this point to up to localhost and copying this pressing ctrl F now as you see that here I will paste this this word I have to paste here and click on replace and here I will paste nothing. I will keep this blank so that when I will click on this replace all button, everywhere the mentioned word, um, everywhere the mentioned word is available will be removed. So let's do it. I'm replacing all. So this word will no longer visible or no longer available under this database. 
I'm closing this and saving this file. Now I am going back to my database again. This is my database. I am going here. I am selecting all my tables and files here by, by checking all. And under this, I will select the drop button and press yes so that all tables under this database will have removed so i have to import the edited database again so let's do it very simple step click on import button click on browse i'm selecting here my database and pressing the go button again to import my edited file so let's see it how is happen I'm still excited with you too let's wait for a while I think it will work wow our all files have been successfully imported so we haven't any issue the issue that was discussed have been successfully solved so I think now you will be able to uh, install your backup files successfully especially the MySQL database so I am going to my website to see if everything is okay so this is my website I'm pressing my website domain let's see it and yes the, my website is live now my database problem is solved so I hope you guys will have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any comment please uh, press your write down your comment below the comment box so let's have a fun cheers thank you so much and bye bye